Hey YouTube, uh, my name is Case and welcome to my page Amazing Calgary Comics. I am based in Calgary, Alberta, uh, Canada and uh, I just want to start off by showing you guys some of my favorite comics uh, that I, I keep in my uh, own private collection here. And um, yeah, I've been I've been collecting for a little while now, and I just want to show you guys kind of a, a few of my favorites, um, so that uh, you guys kind of know what uh, I've got going on. Um, in in you know future videos, I will be showing you new purchases and uh, and everything like that. But these are some of my my more favorite classic um, books. I do have also a lot of modern books that I do. Uh, collect as well, but uh, first off is the Amazing Spider-Man number 361, uh, first appearance of Carnage. Uh, this is one of my favorite books because Carnage is one of my favorite uh, villains, especially from the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. Uh, this is in very, very good condition. I did purchase this off of eBay, which uh, I was surprised with because I have had bad experiences in the past, but this is a near mint copy and I was very, very happy to get it. Um, this one I just picked up actually recently this week. This is a uh, Wolverine number 10, a very, very classic uh, cover between uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth. Uh, it was one of their earlier fights and it was an amazing, amazing issue. I also recently picked this up from a local shop uh, called Words and Pictures. Uh, I, I go there a lot and uh, this was um, one of my favorite ones. So um, this I did also pick up on eBay. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Western fan so when uh, I saw Jonah Hex uh, number one um, I had to pick it up. Uh, this is the not the first appearance of Jonah Hex but it is uh, his own um, co uh, comic. It's his first appearance in his own comic. So this was a very, very good uh, uh, book for me to pick up. It's in a very good uh, condition. It's not in the best condition in the world, but it is in a very uh, good condition there. I'm a huge Batman fan. My favorite villain of all time is uh, the Joker, but I also just love the entire um, cast of villains from the Batman uh, franchise. One of them being uh, the Scarecrow, and uh, aside from this little piece of tape on, on the cover of this, this is a very, very good book. This is Batman, uh, number 189, uh, the very first appearance of um, Scarecrow in the Silver Age, uh, so this is a very, very cool book. As you can see right up here, there was a piece of tape up there, uh, so that's definitely going to affect the quality, but if you can look there, you'll see that the rest of the book is actually in very good quality, and this is a really cool book to own uh, for my collection. Uh, the next copy is uh, a very, very timeless uh, classic cover. Um, I love all the fighting in the background. Uh, this is um, Marvel Secret Wars number 8, the very first appearance of the black suit Spider-Man. Uh, a very, very amazing cover. If you can see on the back there, all of the other Marvel superheroes and villains all fighting it out uh, while Spider-Man in his black suit stands in the front. I got a very, very good deal on this book at the Calgary Comic Expo. It was only uh, listed for $12. It's honestly like in a, a very fine condition. It's an amazing book. Um, I talked the guy down to like eight bucks, um, so he really didn't know what he, what he had. So that is one of my favorite books that uh, I own. Um, I thought you'd like to see that. This is an amazing book. Uh, Captain America number 111, uh, classic Steranko cover. Um, it looks like it's come right out of the 70s. This is a very good copy. No stress, uh, stress wear or anything like that. Um, as you guys can see here near the bottom, all the different colors and kind of the shapes. It's, it's very, very 70-ish. Sorry for the glare, glare there, by the way, guys. Um, but a very classic uh, Captain America standing up, raising a shield in the air. It's a very, very beautiful book. Um, this one is great. I'm a huge Dracula fan. Uh, very, very uh, simply, the Tomb of Dracula number one. Uh, another very good copy I got at the Calgary Comic Expo. Uh, they were selling it for, for 40 bucks. I picked it up for 30 Um it's an amazing, amazing book, and I'm so happy I found it. Uh, if you guys are able to go to expos, I definitely recommend it. 
you find really great books. Um, you're able to kind of haggle the price a little bit, and you're not buying offline or online. When you're buying online, you're never 100% sure of the quality of the book that you're going to get when you get it. Uh, this is another one of my favorite books. Um, it is Iron Fist number 14, the very first appearance of Sabretooth from the X-Men. Um, as you guys can see, uh, very, very good quality, except for a little bit of coloring right on the O there, as you guys can see. Very, very good book. Uh, very good quality. This one I did pick up online, and I was very surprised with the uh, great quality that I got on it. But uh, I really, really wanted the first appearance of Sabretooth um, because I am planning on getting uh, the very first appearance of Wolverine, which is his nemesis. And the cool thing about this book is it does take place in the Canadian Rocky Mountains, which is about an hour away from where I am. So it kind of made it also uh, fun for me to buy. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 121, Death of Gwen Stacy. Now, I got this book at an amazing deal at the Calgary Comic Expo. Uh, this book, uh, he listed it at 40 I also picked it up for 30 and I knew that I had to have it. Um, I love the Death of uh, Gwen Stacy and the Death of Green Goblin combo together because it is kind of the, the biggest love story in comics uh, when they... Uh, when Gwen, uh, Gwen Stacy dies and uh, Spider-Man just kind of, you know, I'm going to kill you, and, and uh, at the end he couldn't, and uh, it was a great storyline. And here's the other half, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 122. This is in a very fine condition. This is very, very good. Um, beautiful book. I love the co the cover, all the explosions, and, and uh, Spider-Man screaming out. So this is a very, very good book. Um, it was listed at 175. He took 150 for it, so I was very, very happy with uh, with the book that I got for there. Now these are some of uh, my more key issues. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. Uh, this is the only CGC book I have at the moment, and it is The Walking Dead 101, uh, the special ghost variant uh, with the Foxy Brown uh, Michonne cover, which is really cool. Um, I have every ghost variant that they've come out with so far. Uh, they are very great books. Uh, as you can see, this is a 9.8, a near mint copy. Um, I picked this up at a local shop uh, called Another Dimension Comics uh, here in Calgary. And uh, yeah, a very, very uh, amazing looking book, a great cover, uh, kind of a throwback to the, the 70s there with uh, the afros and the color schemes and the the skirt and just the way that uh, Michonne's dressed up. So I really like the cover, so I went and picked that book up. Um, so these are uh, some of the three keys that I really uh, I'm proud of, and I, I love that I own them. Um, so this is the Green Lantern uh, number 76. I also picked this up from Another Dimension Comics, um, and uh, this is the very first uh, team up of Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Um, this is an amazing book. And as you can see on the bottom there, that is the signature of the artist Neil Adams, a very, very famous, uh, iconic artist. And uh, there is the uh, certificate of authenticity on the back there. Um, I was very, very happy to pick this up and even more happy that the Calgary Comic Expo for uh, 2013 decided to invite Neil Adams and uh, I was actually able to meet him in person and, and get this book signed. It's an amazing book in very good quality and uh, I was very very happy to, to own this one. Uh, this one here is uh, it's basically in good condition. Um, I did pick it up at the local shop called Word and Pictures uh, for a pretty good price. This is Iron Man number one. Um, there is some damage along the spine of the book but aside from that it is a very beautiful copy I'm very, very happy to own it, and uh, with the movies coming out and the Avengers, this is an amazing investment copy, and uh, just it's just awesome to own when you own a great uh, piece of comic history like that. And this here is probably my favorite book that I do own. Uh, it's the Fantastic Four, 48, The Coming of Galacticus, and the very first appearance of the Silver Surfer. Um, and the signature there, obviously, is Mr. Stanley himself. Um, he uh, signed this book for me. There's the 
Certificate of Authenticity uh, at the 2013 Comic Expo. And it was funny because my wife actually took this book to Stan Lee to sign, and uh, Stan Lee couldn't believe that uh, she had such a great copy of this book and uh, was able to talk to her for a little bit there. So um, there you go, guys. That is some of my uh, fa uh, favorite older books. Uh, I do have a bunch of modern books I'll go through as well. And, uh, you know, every time I get a new book in, I will... Um, do a video for you guys and uh, update you on the status of my collection. All right, guys, uh, this has been Case Freilich with Amazing Calgary Comics, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.